What's up my luxurious besties and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is all about transitioning your summer wardrobe to your chic fall wardrobe seamlessly while staying cozy and stylish all season long. Here's how you're gonna go from feeling overwhelmed to quickly and efficiently transitioning your chic fall everyday essentials wardrobe so you can have versatility and mixing and matching while also being cozy and stylish. So we're going to quickly go through a list of the basics that you should have to make your transition smooth. You may have a lot of these pieces. If you do not, this is the time where you can go ahead and add these pieces to your cart. Most of these pieces can be used during winter as well since fall is gonna have a lot of coats and warm pieces. And you'll also be able to use all the pieces whether it's day or night. Very basic basic is undergarments. Pretty self-explanatory. Make sure that you have some nice thick socks and some socks that you can wear with boots. So first on our list is going to be sweaters. I don't know about you, but when it's cold, I have no motivation to get out of my warm bed into the cold air and change so I like to throw on the first thing that's super warm which is gonna be sweaters backtracking really fast for all the pieces I'm gonna talk about today you're gonna want to get in the four base colors a lot of people will say three base colors which is black white and nude I like to say four because I don't always like to wear nude for a lot of the pieces I like to wear gray so our colors are gonna be black white gray and nude for sweaters you're gonna want to invest in a variety of different colors and styles this can range from cardigans pullovers and turtlenecks those are all great options of course you'll have zip ups as well but i'm trying to shoot for clothes that are a little bit more outing slash work appropriate these are some of my favorite sweaters i'm going to have everything linked down below so that you can have a quick and easy access to the pieces that i'm showing these are all going to be my favorite pieces that are of quality and that i genuinely would wear and am purchasing for sweaters i do like to stick to cashmere or cotton cashmere feels really good it's a really really nice high quality material and cotton i'm a sweater so anything cotton for me that's breathable is a must. Next up we have jeans. A well-fitting pair is a must-have for fall, really for any season. You always want to consider different washes and styles, so I always follow by the light wash, medium wash, dark wash, and black. You could go light wash, medium wash, and black, or just light wash, medium wash, and dark wash. It just depends on your preference. I try to get all four. A black jean is completely different than a super dark wash. It just creates a completely different look. As far as styles, I always like to do a high-waisted jean. You could do a low-waisted, you could do a straight cut, a boot cut, a flare jean. Flare jeans are back in style this year. If you like skinny jeans or straight leg jean, get whatever floats your boat, whatever works best for you, and whatever your personal style is. That's the most important out of all the pieces that we're going to talk about today. Boots. I live in sandals. It's so easy to just put on and run out of the house. But you're going to want to opt for a couple of pairs of stylish boots. Ankle boots and knee-high boots work well for fall and can be styled up or down. I love a black booty. I love a black ankle boot and a brown chocolate boot. These boots that I got from Amazon are seriously so comfortable. I'm someone who cannot wear heels. I'm flat-footed and it just heels are just the death of me. I love them, but they are very painful. And these booties are extremely comfortable. I've worked as a fashion stylist in a boutique and I've worn them for eight plus hours in a day. I've also worn them to showings for real estate and they are not painful. I vouch for them. They're really, really good. I highly recommend you guys try them out. They are great quality. I drag my feet a lot when I'm walking and I don't know how many times I've gone to scuff my shoes and it has not scuffed. Granted, I have had them for a little bit over a year now, so they have eventually gotten a little bit of their scuffs here and there but not as bad as literally any other booty that i've tried if you're going to try anything today and you need some shoes definitely check out these booties jackets and coats so depending on the climate a lightweight jacket or coat is always an essential as we get closer to december it's going to get colder for now a lightweight jacket or coat like a cardigan or just a super thin coat is good to go. So you wanna look for classic styles that can be layered over different outfits. And this can be as simple as wearing some kind of long sleeve or sweater underneath it and then your jacket or coat on top of it. It doesn't have to get too complicated if you're not fully comfortable with layering, but that is a simple and sure way to start to layer. Next up we have scarves. So scarves not only add warmth, but also add a touch of style to any outfit. Especially if you live in an area where it starts to get super windy, like just the super dry, windy, cold air, a scarf is something really good to cover your neck, to cover your mouth, to cover your nose so that you're not completely parched on the inside. Start off with just some basics. Maybe you can add a different texture, like knitted or linen or cotton. I'd probably go for something thicker as opposed to linen. And then you can start to integrate different colors and patterns to mix and match. Neutral is going to be the way to go if you want absolute versatility. Tops. Definitely 
if you want to start layering if you start to get absolutely freezing you're going to want to start to layer and a sure way to do that is by wearing long sleeves underneath your sweaters your coats your jackets whatever it is so you're going to want to stock up on long sleeves and blouses that can be layered underneath jacket or that can be worn on their own backtracking a little bit any sweaters long sleeves jackets coats scarves that are wool, any kind of thicker material, are gonna be a really nice fabric to pick for those pieces that's gonna keep you nice, cozy, and warm, and also stylish. Leggings or tights. This is gonna be another factor that you can wear underneath your jeans or your sweats, whatever it is that you're wearing, your trousers, that's gonna keep you nice and warm. Thermal leggings if you're somewhere that is just absolutely freezing or it is just way too cold in the morning or when you're getting off work. They're also great for layering under dresses or skirts. Stay warm while also looking chic. It doesn't mean that your leggings have to show underneath your skirt if you're not a fan of that. If you're wearing a longer skirt, it's just gonna keep you warm. I live by the beach, so I feel like as soon as the holiday weather starts to kick in, it starts to get very cold in the mornings and very cold in the evening dresses don't forget about fall dresses you're going to want to choose styles that can be worn with boots or that can be layered with unlayering pieces like cardigans for dresses i would probably tie in the fall colors and a long sleeve or short sleeve it's a little bit of a warmer day for you just so that it doesn't look like a super summery dress you're going to start to want to go towards the warmer neutral colors and a sure way to do that is by choosing trending colors for fall that video is already out, so if you have not seen it yet, go back one video after this one and watch that video. I go over all the trends and trending colors that are going to be happening for fall. Hats and beanies. Definitely any kind of hat. Again, wool or cotton or any other material that is your favorite. I have grown to be a super fan of beanies, so I'm honestly very excited for winter to come around because I'm going to be wearing beanies like it is nobody's business. And they're of course not only going to keep you warm, but they're also going to be stylish. Accessories, if you're not accessorizing yet and you feel like your outfits are missing a little something, they're a little bit dull or they're just not, like, not really giving what it's supposed to give, then you need to start accessorizing. If you are accessorizing, maybe try testing out other kind of jewelry pieces. Maybe some larger pieces that are universal, one color, a continuous pattern all around. It can be like a thick, chunky piece that makes it statement, but it's universal because you can wear it with everything. Whether it be a big piece, whether it be a chunky piece or a small piece as long as it's like a silver or a gold you just kind of want to maintain that neutral color throughout the entire piece and I say neutral throughout the entire piece because we're talking about versatility and mixing and matching and being able to wear those accessories with any other outfit keep it simple but you can do chunky like a big kind of simple as well if you like a bigger jewelry so for accessories you're gonna finish off your look with statement jewelry definitely start to wear belts if you're not if you're not a fan of belts don't wear the belts but if you want to start to test it out add it to a skirt add it to a pair of jeans or trousers and you'll see how it just kind of changes your look It'll go from wearing an outfit to styling an outfit and how different that looks. Last accessory is going to be handbags that complement the fall color palette. So I always love to do blacks, browns. I do love white year round but those would be my main three and of course you can do a gray as well i hope this list helped you from going from feeling overwhelmed to quickly and efficiently transitioning your summer wardrobe to your fall wardrobe before you know it we will be in that weather and i want to make sure that we are staying nice and cozy while also being stylish if you found value in this video please make sure to comment like share and subscribe down below i want to hear from you let me know your thoughts what is going to be your go-to piece for this fall and if you have seen the fall trends that are coming in and the colors what do you think what's your favorite color i think my favorite color is going to be the jewel tones i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching my luxurious bestie and i will see you in the next video